All right, all right, all right. Welcome back to the Buddy Show. I haven't done a video in a long time. Uh, I just don't really enjoy it that much. I much prefer being a writer. Um, so I went to the morning market again today, and not a whole lot has changed. Uh, you'll see some new things, but mostly I want to talk about price prices. Uh, I haven't lived in the United States for over a year now, so I have no idea really what you guys are going through. Um, we're not feeling it here. Uh, prices are going up slightly. Um, but it's still pretty good. So I'm going to turn this back around. I'm going to show you what I bought this morning. I'll try to give you prices for everything. Uh, the whole total was 294 bought, which is, uh, as of today, uh, $8.45. So you're going to see what $8, where am I? Where $8.45 can buy. It's a lot. Uh, so I'm going to turn this around one second, please. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's my TV. Uh, so hey, this is the whole business um my otf switchblade there is not included so up top here we have pork patties on a stick those i think were like 40 baht uh there's five of them uh then there's the knife uh three mangoes which were she actually gave me one free so they were 15 baht per kilo so 15 baht is less than 50 cents uh you see 45 bought for 10 eggs um this is called long kong there's actually a, a thai name for it and this is its fruit which obviously looks like an eyeball uh, i never had it before it's delicious uh, i had to buy a kilo of those which i don't know if i can eat that many i'm going to put them in the refrigerator um, they uh, were 30 baht for a kilo, less than a dollar. Okay, here we got two pieces of chicken, which I think are chicken quarters. I can't remember how much those were. Uh, for, for, let's see. Let's see, 20, let's say, let's say 50 baht. It was about 50 baht. Um, this is, I'm sitting down, this is pork skewers again with this delicious sauce. It's, uh, if you don't like spicy, you would think it's spicy. I don't think it's spicy, but I live in Thailand. Uh, this is more of the um, eggplant curry, eggplant green curry. I think there's blood um, cakes in there as well. This I don't know. It's a, I think it's a vegetarian soup. I think, I think that white thing right there is tofu. Then this is lab. Uh, I know some of you have had lab. Lob is really spicy here. They threw in some uh, cabbage leaves to wrap it in. And then there is this, which I believe, I've seen it before uh, at the market, but I don't know exactly what it is. I think that it is pickled bok choy. I'm pretty sure it's bok choy. I'm, I'm imagining it's pickled. I hope it's pickled. I love pickled stuff. Um, so let's see. Looking around, I think that's it. Uh, just to give you an idea of, of the price and the cost here, I'm gonna turn this back around. Yeah, there we go. And I'm gonna, so here is that little thing that looks like the eyeball, the Long Kong. Again, it has a Thai name. The woman told it to me, but I can't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a cross between, what is that taste? Hmm. I know the taste, but I can't think of what it is. It's there's a seed in there, and now it really looks like an eyeball. Yeah, I mean the taste that what it is is right on the tip of my tongue. I'll think of it, but I'm not going to make a video of just what the name was. So uh, again, I'm gonna I'm gonna pan around and and and. Let's just see the stuff again. So again, the, these are pork patties on sticks. The, I think, um, pickled bok choy. The amazingly inexpensive mangoes. And then the long kong chicken, pork skewers and sauce, eggplant curry, uh, vegetable monks food or something, and then the lob. So I'm gonna turn back around one more. And that's gonna be it. I'll let you see the my freaking ugly uh, 
wallpaper back there. I'm going to be moving to the Philippines in about 90 days, I think. Uh, they're coming to a vote, and they may change the visa in the Philippines. The great thing about the Philippines is, A, people speak English, and as it stands now, this is probably going to change. Uh, Americans can go there and stay three years on a tourist visa. I mean, heck, if it went down to a year, that would be fine. That's what I was looking for when I first left the U.S., just to be, you know, stay in a place, not like, like here in Thailand, uh, stay in a place for a year, not have to dick around with all the visa crap. So, um, I mean, worse comes to worse, and it's not worse. It's, if, I was, if I had to stay in Thailand, I would not be upset. Uh, so that's it. I'll talk to, you, talk to you later or sooner. Or, uh, but until then, do what I cannot do here in Thailand. Stay frosty.